What's up there, Global Nobles? How's it going there, YouTube Nation? So, check this out. Um, most of you have been asking me, how's the new battery life really like on the new Android 5.0.2? Now, I'm taking the time right now to uh, get in depth of how the experience has been uh, under the new operating system. Uh, I do keep in mind I am taking the time as I'm doing laundry right now, so I do apologize for any feedback noise that you might uh, get during this uh, video. But uh, if you do like to know the process of how it actually really went um, when updating from 4.4.2 to the new uh, Lollipop, do check out the video below in the description box. So... I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the power. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm under 29%. I did um, charge my battery during the day, and afterwards, I decided to go ahead and stress out the battery by opening a whole bunch of apps. And as you can see, I never really closed them. I have two pages accumulated so far. I was watching a little bit of YouTube, Vine. Uh, I was uh, responding to a lot of your comments that were on the channel here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the history. And as you can see, I've been on the battery for 16 hours. And within that, you can see that I did have it at 100%. And it is has now been uh, depleting. It now tells me the approximate uh, time that's left. So if I do not um, use my phone whatsoever, I have approximately seven hours worth of battery life left. But that's if I leave it alone. If I just turn it off and not use it, then that's what I got. And as you can see right here, I did no charging at all. While I had the screen on, a little bit of the battery life has been uh, going on and off there. While it's awake, it does the same thing. The Wi-Fi has been pretty nice. Everything is smooth. I haven't been really, really uh, stressing out the Wi-Fi, so I'm going to probably make another video and see the comparison within the cellular network and then the Wi-Fi. But for some reason, the Wi-Fi has been pretty awesome. Uh, so again, this has to do all with doing what I was doing within the day. So if I actually go ahead and check out the battery usage, as you can see again, uh, I was using a lot of the... Uh, studio trying to uh, get back to your comments as soon as I could and then some of the uh, vine that I was watching I guess Google Play services has to do with the uh, YouTube or if not I didn't know but it's not really showing up here and then you got the vine that's really there and then the call standby is the one that's taking 16% while the Google Play services and the studio is at 14 so those are the ones that actually really take up uh, most of the power right now. So again, like even so when having these open as well takes up battery life. Now, I'm going to show you another view of how the battery life is going with the Sprint uh, application called Sprint Zone. If you was to go ahead and get in depth on how to get into the battery status uh, you can see that the temperature is pretty it's pretty nice uh, the voltage is pretty evened out uh, as well it's pretty accurate on how much percentage there is left as you can see it's not charging and the battery uh, health is pretty good and if I go into more details Again, it'll just bring me back to the battery uh, usage history. So that's pretty much it on how the battery life really stands out when it comes to it. If you guys really wanted to know uh, how I've been using the battery, then definitely um, this is the video to go. Um, 
so that's basically it. Uh, most of you are also asking me how are the text messages now. The, also, the text messages are pretty neat. I like the smooth feature that it has. I'm going to go ahead and uh, send one out to you. As you can see, I've been using it pretty heavily so far. I've been testing out sending images here and there. But I'm going to go ahead and um, type in something and hopefully I get a response. I know most of you make memes and uh, videos about sending text messages and having the user uh, respond later. I like the keyboard. The keyboard is pretty awesome too. It actually now really predicts what I really want to say. So as you can see, it actually sent pretty quickly. Even though I am on one bar, 28%. And that was pretty much it. It's pretty smooth. If and only you do a factory reset. So again, you're going to see a description down below on how to do a factory reset on the 4.4.2 prior to uh, updating to the 5.0.2. So again, this is the video that you just seen about how is the battery life. I hope this actually helped uh, me give you an understanding on uh, another point of view on how the battery life really stands out. I will be watching a little bit more YouTube. If not, I'm going to see if I can pop in some movies and um, see how the battery life stands out with the media player. So again, thank you guys for watching. Do comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Did it actually help you out? And if any, let me know what you think. Give me your opinion on how the battery stands out within your device. So again, thanks for watching. See you soon.